بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن وله um, I decided to record this uh, uh, practical session and then I, I'll make it available on the blackboard or on the Microsoft Teams uh, for you to refer to uh, at any time um, in this uh, recording I'm going to uh, show some uh, uh, functions as well as uh, the interpretation of results of the methods that we have covered <coughs> maybe this will go through yani I will divide it into two three recordings um, <coughs> we have gone through J48 uh, and I think we have uh, tried the weather data set in the weather data set we have seen that we have uh, 14 uh, records and uh, five columns five uh, attributes play is the is the class and uh, then we applied the j48 we have done all this uh, okay, the only thing is that uh, perhaps in the class we tried the training set, uh, the full training set, and when we applied this, we got 100% uh, results, this one. Correctly classified instances, 14 out of 14, so it's 100%. Um, and uh, as I mentioned in my uh, comment, or answer to one of uh, the groups that this is uh, perfect because um, we are building the model uh, using the whole data set <coughs> and this is not uh, cross-validation so the more reliable uh, results of course this is uh, for purpose of teaching and learning that's why you see it in this way uh, yani it has been uh, manipulated to show perfect uh, results here hundred percent solution so uh, applying the cross validation um, we will get lower results definitely get lower results you see it is seven out of 14 so it's 50 percent 50 percent accuracy <clears throat> So in this uh, recording, I will go through the uh, the interpretation of the output. So I will go th I will go through all those uh, things here, uh, part by part. Um, first of all, um, this is the algorithm applied. This is the data set or the file. Uh, number of instances 14, number of attributes 15, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 columns, and the tenfold cross validation is used, and the J48 pruned tree is, uh, is this one. Here it's written in a vertical way. If you want to see it in a, a, a tree structure, you can go to and visualize the tree this is the tree this is identical those two are, are identical outlook sunny this is outlook sunny uh, then we check humidity high this is a humidity high uh, humidity normal is this one and so on overcast is this second branch um, and uh, rainy is this one then we check the windy yes true false all right so what will be the outcome or the class for each one of those branch will be shown in the box in the rectangle not in the circle circle is a normal node for uh, testing or for validation yani for condition if this equals to this then this so this is the if part this is the then part those uh, five nodes are called leaves 
مثل أوراق الشجر آخر طرف في الشجرة هو ورقة okay. Number of leaves 5 Number of boxes 5 uh, Size of the tree All nodes Total number of nodes Whether it's a condition <coughs> يعني Variable Or Node So total is 8 uh, <coughs> Time taken Is uh, nearly zero. يعني there is no zero, but this is because it's very small. It's it's very close to zero. Um, okay, so that is the visualization. Um, you can also, uh, for example, auto auto scale to make it. smaller to fit in the in the window you can also fit to screen okay uh, you can play around with this to show يعني to to uh, <coughs> visualize the tree in the best way <coughs> okay um, now we come to the measures The most important one is the accuracy. Uh, this shows the confusion matrix. This part shows, so shows the confusion matrix of this uh, classifier. And the confusion matrix here are uh, can be read as follows. You have A and B. A, is, A represents the play. Play equals to yes. B represents uh, play equals to no. This one. Play either yes or no. Okay, um, so uh, if you want to see it in a in the traditional way that we uh, used to uh, used to build, uh, uh, it can be represented as follows: yes, no, yes, no. This one is uh, uh, true positive. And it is five in our case. This is a false negative, and it is four in this example. This one is false positive, and it is uh, three in our case. Uh, finally, we have the true negative. which is uh, two in our case all right now um, the accuracy is calculated as follows true positive plus true negative divided by total which is Um, five two, and those two, five two, five plus two, divided by fourteen, which is seven out of fourteen, fifty percent. So that is the accuracy, and of course the. Uh, incorrectly classified will be the other 50 incorrectly classified instances will be the other 50 this one plus this one which is also seven so that is number one this is uh, easy uh, perhaps the easiest one to calculate and it's very um, applicable to uh, almost all uh, methods that we Uh, to all classifiers.